Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Remastered. I'm Kamchak Fisco, and come join me for the zombie survival adventure. Go and pale myself on the spikes voluntarily. <laughs> well, I mean, too many of us have had the bad habit of actually calling shit! We don't call you shit, that's not what I meant. No, don't do that! Do they only take one? Hit! Hello? Okay, the Crimson's already out. Yay. Fuck my life. Don't trust any corpse. Just, just don't. Just, just don't. If it wasn't enough. They had to add story and add Lisa Trevor. No, they had to add crimson heads. That's dogs, isn't it? Hi. How you doing? Lovely to meet you. Don't mind me, I'm gonna exploit the aiming mechanic. Okay, now you should be dead. Oh, nope. Okay, now we're full. I was gonna say, shit, we're out of bullets. No, we're not. We have one extra bullet. That's gonna turn into a crimson head, because that was there before I killed anybody. So the people I killed turn into crimson heads in the second half. The crimson heads just start showing up almost fucking immediately. Great. That's what I wanted. I'm gonna go use the armor key on the doors before I commit to any of them. Because I'm paranoid like that. That and I want to get the key out of my inventory. This is either armor or helmet. Yeah, I figured it was armor. That leads out to a balcony that I want to say leads to a weapon. I could be wrong. And I kind of need to check the downstairs hallway because we never did and it's already been unlocked. Okay. That leads up to Snack. That leads to a puzzle. Use the armor key. This should lead into a room that it's its own thing. Yeah, I mean, they do that, man. They're sneaky. Dogs and crows, man. I have the space. I'll grab and merge these. Merge those really quick to save space. Then we gotta do something with the light, I believe. If I remember correctly. Like, turn the light off. It has something to do with the... large scratch in it. It doesn't look like the work from the rotting freaks. I keep clicking through the first one too fast. This wall, okay, that's by a hunter, I'm betting. Which, from what my understanding is, that was supposed to be stuff that was in the original story to begin with. First aid box is gonna have a first aid spray in it. Nothing unusual about it, wanna bet? Open the damn thing. Oh, I have to do it from the top, okay. Take the spray out of it. Yeah, apparently it was the, the spray, the spray, the plot was originally meant to be in one, and it was something they had to cut due to limitations or something. I don't remember what the reason was, but that was the footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. Anything in the corner? It was content that was originally meant to be in the game is the point. Three more ribbons. Someone took something and then left in a hurry. Okay, no, nothing I can do here. I uh, can't carry anymore, so I'm gonna have to go back and drop shit off anyway. Uh, let's see if this is a note or an item. Small key. And we actually have a door right out uh, downstairs and around by the safe room that we needed to be able to get the fake shotguns with the swap for the shoddy. 
Yeah, I mean... Old-fashioned lock, so I need a simple lock for that one as well. Um, I'd rather get the shotgun now, just so we can get that one going. Yeah, very true, very true. One was remastered, one was remade. There is a difference. Is this the crow room? No! Hi! How are you doing? Well, that wasn't it. I don't buy that for a second. Yeah, stand back up, dude. You ain't dead. You ain't tricking me. Bleed out, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you ain't dead. You ain't fooling me. Let's freaking die. Blood. We're good. This should be another safer, so we're actually relatively close to be able to swap stuff back and forth. Yeah, exactly. There's a huge difference between the two statements. Holy, there's shit everywhere in here. I do not want to merge these with the other ink ribbons. I want them to be separate. All right, and here's the the like the holy water flask shit that's got the the oil we can use to burn bodies. Defensive item. Take the fuel canteen. Yes. Small key. Oh, I forgot those stack. I totally forgot about that. It does suck that they don't have any. Why does it say zero? Oh, because I have to fill it. Right, 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 right. But then we could use it to burn things. Uh, can I fill it with this? Still plenty of kerosene left. Refill? Yes. How many uses do I get out? Two. We can burn two of the bodies. Either... We need to burn these tactically, because it's basically... If it's a hallway where it's going to screw you, burn the body. If it's not, don't. All right, come on, grab this. There was one other one around the corner we had to get. Got to put these away. Him being at the bottom of the stairs, I can honestly handle, because he'll either be a running distance to the other door, or he'll have to go up the stairwells to get to me. So him being there is fine. Him turning into a crimson head I can deal with. This... Whoa, I saw that. So lantern laying on top of the supplies. Warm light gives you... No. There... Uh-huh. I saw the bullets. You can't tell me I didn't see the bullets. I saw them. All right, so we can actually lock both doors. We're gonna lock the door that goes to the uh, the shotgun as well as whatever the other door was. Is this like? No. We can only go through that door so many times, and then the doorway breaks forever. So you only go through that door when you have to. We can get there another way. So we do not want to go through that door. This guy, once again, being at the top, running distance, should be fine. So I can go in here, I can grab that old key, it'll stack. We have an old do uh, key door we can open here. Then we've got the other one that has the broken shotgun, so we can get the real shotgun. I don't remember much, but I remember the important shit. Might be able to unlock it. Yeah, might as well. And I will come back and see what's in there once we have some space. Kerosene is one you want to do when you have the time. You don't want to go out of your way to have it on you all the time, because it sucks, and you end up losing a inventory slot for it. And with Chris, that's bad. Yeah, we hadn't been in here. Dark forest stretches as far as your eyes can see. There doesn't seem to be any houses nearby. Screw it, let's just search the room. If I have to, I'll run back and forth to ferry shit to the storage. Kind of wanted to have a full or an empty inventory to do this, but eh, let's see what's in here. Oh. No. Collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it? Yes. Nothing happens. Alright, so we have to... Maybe it has something to do with the insect specimens. Yeah, we gotta take that specimen and swap it for something else. Water tank smells like something that's lived in there. Perhaps someone was using it to raise some kind of creature? Will you take the fish hook? No. Okay, so we're gonna need to grab two items. Various types of fish hooks. Documents. Researchers will. There's a letter. June 3rd, 1998. My dearest Alma. And immediately I think of fear. Let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses is not preventing phone calls. Sorry, Alma. 
I sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain a few simple words that's all, all that's happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fail. I hope this letter finds you well and that you will forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion. I have to, but I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe me when I'm telling you the truth. This is the truth. Uh, the entire story would take hours for me to tell, and time is short, so accept these, fa these as fact. Last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues were infected, are dead or dying, and the nature of the disease is such that those living have lost their senses. This virus robbed, you, robbed its victims of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts have only delayed the inevitable. I am infected and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the thing that separates me from them my love for you. In an hour I'll be entered in my eternal sleep where there's peace. Please understand, please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Unlock the case, it's full of biological reports. Containers full of dead bugs. Will you take the bee specimen? Yeah, I think we need to like flip these. We need to move the hook over there, the bee over there, and I think we keep the bee specimen. I could be wrong. But we need, like, the slots for that. We need, like, three open slots to do this. So, yeah. I, I was right to want to wait to come back to this room when we had room. <laughs> so there's that. But I still want to try to do this systematically so we know where the hell we're going. It's a lot easier to get less lost if you approach this systematically. Even if it takes more time. Alright, so we need to check these two doors and see if we can open either one of them. Pretty sure one was locked from the other side, but one should be the armor. Whoa, heck! Stop coming out of the window, man! Holy shit! Got it! Use the armor key! Yay! Now we can use the emblem. Oh, wait, no, because we can't play the piano. Because Chris doesn't know how to play the piano. I'm going to go see if I can check the birdcage, because there may be a thing. Well, that was one of the other ones that we hadn't yet... The, yeah. Crimson heads are showing up a lot earlier than I remember them showing up. We're just going to walk nice and calmly. Do I have to walk to the front of the birdcage to see if there's something in the birdcage? Large bird cage. There's a dead raven inside. Can I not open it? I guess I can't open it. I really don't want to go through here, so I'm going to walk on out and... I think it's possible to get through without ever triggering them. Alright, let's go into the piano room. We're not going to be able to play it anyway, because we've got to get Rebecca to play it for us. I remember that. And she has to practice to play, so... She's rusty as all hell at it. I'll link, I'll leave the ink ribbons for now. Um, they won't let you even play it. In the original, you could at least play the wrong thing, the wrong notes. All right, let's move you this way. All right, what do we got here? Uh, take the musical score. Yes. Which I believe is Moonlight Sonata, if I'm not mistaken. Moonlight Sonata. I have a Moonlight Sonata. Can I open it? Here we go. Section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and the end of the music. Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so we're, we still got to find the rest of the music sheet anyway. Alright, so we'll put the music sheet away, because we can't do anything with it. <laughs> I need to go upstairs and stash this shit. Could go through the coral room, but... Eh. I'd rather not. Okie dokie. Is that a crimson hit? Oh my. Oh dear! That's not good! Get off me, man! Get off me! Oh. 
So help me, you better be freaking dead. The upside is once you kill a Crimson Head, they don't come back. There's no third stage. This guy I don't flip and trust. Him being right here is gonna screw me. So I need to burn this body. Uh, excuse me? Okay, here we go. Now I can do it. Not taking any chances. Oh, come on. Back hit. What are you doing? That wasn't fair. Well, that hurt. I have to go heal with the, the, the shit out on the balcony now. Which is fine. It's on our way back, but still, kind of sucks. Okay, his ass is gone forever. So that won't be a problem. And use the old key, please. I want my shotgun. I'm trying to think if there's any other bodies we want to burn right now. There may not be. Take the busted shoddy first. Yes. Alright, so that's grenades. I forgot grenades are in this game. I totally forgot that they are. Uh, still plenty of kerosene. Refill, yes. Hopefully it refills on the amount ink ribbon. Of course. All right, so there's an ink ribbon, and I think there's going to be another thing to search there. So I want to go back, drop off the shoddy. For now, I'll drop off the blue gems. I don't know. I, you know what? Screw it. Let's see whether, if I use the blue gem immediately or not. If I do, boom, done, out of the way. If not, we know better. More grenades. Defensive knife. I'll take that. Yes, please. I have nothing at the moment. Now that sounds like a baddie just got released. That's that's great. Okay, so yes, we can use the gem. That's the map, not the inventory key. Tiger with uh, something in blue eyes. I know the other color is red. So let's give a shoddy ammo. And the other side will be the magnum. That's far more important. But we still very much want the shoddy ammo. The shotgun's gonna be a lifesaver once we're able to use it. We just need to be able to swap the broken one for the legit one. Which just requires us going downstairs in the below area, and I think we could actually just go do that. Probably like right now, but I want to make sure the area is clear. Okay, so what's with all these hallways? This goes out, so there should be a door we can unlock. Nice. Because that was locked from the other side. We've got this room, and I don't know if it's locked or not. I kind of don't really care, because I just want to go back, put the shotgun away, put the shotgun ammo away. Problem with Chris is you can only really carry one weapon at a time, so you want to make sure you got a lot of shotgun ammo before you commit to switching to that gun. That's kind of a thing. Okay, now we can actually go pick up some stuff from the other room, which will be the grenades from both rooms, uh, which should stack up to five, I believe. And we'll actually grab one of the ink ribbons, because I think there might be something else on the table. I could be wrong. But I want to make sure if there is something else on the table, we can get both, because you have to pick up one to be able to see the other. All right, grab that. Thank you. Nope, that was just the one thing. Grab the nade. Just some old furniture. Oh, that that's a hand grenade. I'll, oh, flash grenade. Interesting. I didn't think the flash grenades were in the original one. I thought that wasn't introduced until 4. Interesting. Let's go grab the other grenade. We'll drop them off. We'll search the rest of this, because we were supposed to anyway. Then we'll head to the other side, search the bottom. <sighs> okay, grab the grenade, please. Oh, so they're all flash grenades. Got it. So they're just used to stun the zombies? I don't even know if they'd be effective against, uh... 
They may work on the hunters because the hunters have eyes. I don't know if it would even work on a boss or anything. I have no idea how effective the flashbangs would be in general. The reason why they were more powerful later is because they actually do damage to uh, Las Plagas and any mutated variants thereof. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, come to the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.